Hi everyone, welcome again to this channel. Today the topic is tools and safety equipment. As a contractor or as an installer or maintenance technician, you will require along the way some tools to make you do your work effectively. Some of the tools that we are looking here is not, the list is not exhaustive. However, we've just selected some which are necessary to enable you as a solar PV installer to carry out your work diligently. Uh, let's begin by looking at digital multi multimeters. And uh, this equipment is a must-have equipment for a solar PV installer, maintenance uh, engineer, and so on. What this equipment are for, they are designed for measuring both AC and DC. And what we know that is that a professional meter should have, as we've said here, a minimum of measuring 1000 volts for both AC and DC and a minimum of 10 amps for AC and DC. The equipment should be waterproofed and it must have at least a cut 3 1000 volt certification. This is for your personal protection and also that it should withstand the drops of up to 4 meter. Without that you'll be investing money on something that will when it drops, it cracks into small pieces or gets damaged and your investment will go to zero. Here we are not looking at how these things function. We are just highlighting the equipment. It is for you now to compare, look at the user manual, look at the functionality of the equipment and decide which one best suits your requirements. The ones we put here just for example or reference purpose, the rest you can check on the internet so that you, you can get uh, the best value for your money. Now we look at the clamp meters or tong tester. Tong because this clamp, this is a clamp which opens and now when opened it looks like tong. Uh, we have selected here two types of this uh, meter. The clamp meter behaves or more or less like the, the multimeter. However, they have an advantage that they will measure electrical properties of what you're looking for, voltage, current, uh, resistance, when the system is running. For example, the wires are live and you clamp the equipment or the meter on the wire to test, to give you the test like the digital meter. The specifications are like those for the digital multimeter. And one advantage that clamp meters have over the digital multimeters is that they can be used without cutting the cable. You just hang it, loop it around the cable and you're able to get your readings. One thing to note is that a clamp meter should only be used to measure insulated conductors. Further to that, you can check which again meets your budget, which one meets your requirements. There are several in the market. Some are very good, some are relatively good, but when you're starting off as an installer or as a maintenance engineer, then you'll know that uh, sometimes buying cheap is expensive. So you better decide on what best meets your requirements and budget. The other equipment that we want to look at is solar survey equipment. And this machine measures or this equipment measures irradiance and it has a built-in inclinometer. You know how important that is, especially when you are working on the roof. It also has a compass, a thermometer to measure ambient temperature and other functionalities. This equipment, we are looking at it because it's relatively unique. They are available from dialogsolar.com. From our review, probably we did not find another one which looks like this. Maybe they are in the market, but it has also been in the market for long. And the functionality, we find that this equipment is uh, fairly good for an installer because it will give you some of this information directly. You know very well how difficult it is to sometimes find the pitch of the roof, uh, also measure the other things that uh, this equipment does. The next equipment which you want to look at which is the insulation tester. Now, as the name suggests here, this equipment is for testing insulation and it can give you a quick detection of deterioration between two contact points. Uh, for that, what do we mean? You can measure contact resistance of switches and circuit breakers. You can measure earth continuity and do surface condition and metallization. These are things which you can measure with this uh, equipment. Prices, of course, depending on your requirements, some, some of these equipment are relatively expensive. So when you're investing, 
you either decide whether it is going to serve you or you also use it as something which people can lease or hire from you for some fee so that you can also make money out of it. The two types that we've put here are just an example of what is there in the market, but relatively we have tried to look around and found that these are some that can give you good value for your money depending on how or whatever you want to do. Some of the tests that can be done with this equipment and you can check the manuals or visit the, the product website. Uh, what we know is that you can do insulation resistant test. Some will give you polarization index test, absorption ratio test, ramp test. Also there is voltage current capacitance and what we say here is that uh, this is a professional equipment that can either be owned also for a large project or rented for intermittent installation job. We move on to the next equipment that PV installer should have and these are the battery testers. They also come in different varieties and functionality. We have selected these two. The Fluke 500 has been there for some time and it offers industrial capability of battery testing but also the others like uh, this HT3554 portable battery analyzer. Uh, what we advise is that uh, if you're comparing them, uh, look at the functionality, look at the what you want to do and the kind of batteries that each one can test, then you make your decision from there. Uh, some of these things are coming up with new testing uh, modes of functionality. Right now, new batteries are coming to the market and some have been with us here for the longest period, like the lead acid battery. So when you're buying this equipment, then you must decide and look at the future so that it can help you invest your money wisely. But it is a good equipment to have, especially when you are doing a solar PV with storage. And this kind of design usually have batteries that have to be maintained. And without a proper equipment, you will not be able to determine or troubleshoot if the storage is not leaving to what it is expected. We leave the battery tester and move on to what I said earlier, the inclinometer and compass. As an installer, these are two information or data that you'll require to be able to design your solar PV installation. Uh, you will need to know the azimuth and you will need to know the inclination of the surface where the panels are installed. So with this one, you can put this equipment with this edge here on the surface and be able to know the inclination or the pitch of that roof. Then you can also hold it uh, horizontally and be able to know your azimuth using this uh, compass. So it is an analog equipment but very useful in solar PV design. We move on to the mechanical tools and definitely you will not be able to install your solar PV system without these tools. We can see that this tool has several items listed here. The solar cable crimper, the hex wrench spanner, the solar connector spanner and uh, some screw set of screwdrivers. This is a must, you must have it even if you don't have the other tools that we've discussed above for you to be able to do solar installation this kind of toolkit is necessary for you now we look at the steel cable puller especially if you are going to run your cables through ducts and pipes this steel cable puller will help you pull the cable through the pipes it is a simple tool but very useful when you're going to run pipes especially on the roof and put cable through to reach the lower side of the building. Now, besides these ones, we look at also the cordless drilling machine tool set. Now, you know the use of this, especially if you're working on roofs, walls, you'll need something to drill. And this is a, an example of that kind of tool with a cordless drilling machine with a spare battery and other small, small items that are probably not included in this one. It will be required that you have this set and this particular set and to some extent to have this one as well. So this one will enable you to do the physical work of installing the solar panels. With that, it is not complete yet because your safety matters and without personal protective equipment, you will be endangering your life. And this is what comes first before even you think of doing any work because you cannot start any work when you do not have uh, this equipment. So we have like the helmet 
and the full body harness this one of course some roofs are very difficult and generally any roof that is uh, having a high pitch you need to have something to help you stay stable as you work on the roof also you'll require safety boots uh, which are ankle high uh, these boots of course are very necessary especially if you're working on the roof uh, the rubber sole will help you not to slip uh, especially metallic roof and so on that combined with the body harness and the helmet are very critical components to personal safety but as you work and as you're working with the panels you'll realize uh, you'll be dealing with the live voltage especially if those panels are not covered so one other thing that is very critical is to have gloves and they must comply with IEC 60903 or EN 6903. These gloves comes in a variety for low voltage, medium voltage and high voltage. Besides these equipment, you'll also need a reflective jacket. This is important, especially if you're in a busy working site, uh, you need to be in a position where other people can see you especially if the rooms are dark and people are using flashlight and so on so these are the equipment that we wanted to bring to your attention and you realize some are very important and you cannot do without them as an installer definitely you require to have some of these equipment however depending on your budget or your level of intervention you may decide what to have first to be able to begin your uh, installation or maintenance work but without doubt the basic ppe are a must before you can enter into any installation work in the solar pv sector yeah that brings us to the end of this uh, video we thank you for having chosen to follow along definitely we have not looked at the functionalities of digital equipment because that one is uh, out of the scope of this uh, video once again thank you very much and we meet again in uh, another video that we'll be posting in this channel